What's up guys, Matt here with Matco Metalworks and we've got a little pipe rail video for you. Uh, get, get started here, we're uh, just got a lot of pieces cut and we've got a ton of rails to make. So we went ahead and cut everything. We try to do everything at the same time. So therefore we're cutting everything at the same time. Now we're deburring the ends and beveling the ends at the same time. And then we'll jump over to the iron worker and uh, take the pipe notcher attachment there on the Scotchman 50 ton iron worker, notch the ends, cope them. And as you saw there, I just showed a quick clip uh, what it looks like after you cope a piece and it slides right on and you actually calls it, it's called a, a saddle uh, because that pipe saddles uh, right over top of the other pipe. And uh, so we get all these coped out. Um, we do pay attention to the seams because they show so bad after you paint them. This is inch and a quarter schedule 10 handrail pipe. And um, we like the seams to go in so therefore you don't see them. So kind of determines where you uh, cope that pipe. So then we've got them laid out here. We're getting ready to bend them. So what we'll do is we've got our predetermined marks uh, to run it through the tubing bender. So like I said, you're grinding everything, you're notching everything. Now we're gonna mark everything with a Sharpie. And um, then we'll go over to the tubing bender once we get all those marked and we'll start making our hoops for the end. So here we are on the Bailey 125 hydraulic tubing bender. And uh, you can see it makes a quick work of this. Like I said, it's inch and a quarter uh, pipe. So you've got an inch and a quarter die there. There's a difference between pipe and tubing. Uh, it goes by outside diameter, OD, and ID, which is inside diameter. So you can see we're getting all these bent. This is our hoops. Uh, the end has to be extend 12 inches past the edge of the step. So what we do is we make these hoops. Therefore, it'll extend. Uh, these hoops are actually 12 by 12. So 12 inches deep, 12 inches tall. And then once they're mounted, that gives us our 12 inch extension past the bottom of that, uh, that bottom step for our code purposes. So you can see he's got a little torpedo level there. What happens, it tries to pull. So you just put that uh, torpedo level to keep it all squared up. Now what we're doing here, we've got a little jig uh, set up on the jig table. And what he'll do is he's got the legs. We, uh, those are also pre-cut. And he'll just put them in his little jig, tack them together, and then we'll put them on the other table and weld them up. So we'll just get them all tacked up here. And then we'll uh, slide them over and start welding them up. You want to keep your beads nice and smooth. Um, we are running down hills. Um, this makes it a little easier to keep a smooth bead because we do, uh, you'll see in a minute, we grind all of that off. We grind everything completely smooth. Absolutely no welds left on these. Once again, like I said, you do everything at the same time. It's kind of a more of a pr production style way to do it, but it makes things a lot more efficient. You get things done a lot quicker when you're doing it instead of jumping back and forth from bending a piece of pipe to coping it, to cutting it, to grinding it, to tacking it. Uh, therefore, you're doing all of that in stages. You get it done a lot quicker. Um, we found that out and it works really, really good. They get all these welded up and uh, like I said, just get to uh, run your welds all the way around your hoop there onto your, your rail. And then um, you see me there on the other table. We try not to weld a lot on our jig table just to keep the spatter off of it. So what we'll do is we'll do most of the tacking there where it's set up in the jig. We'll slide it over to the other table and we'll get everything welded up solid. Once those pieces are tacked together, you don't really get a lot of pull, so you don't have to worry about it warping or bending anything. So we can go ahead and build it up pretty solid without uh, having it clamp down to the table. If you had more pieces on this, and you'll see in a minute, when we start tacking them together with the cross, um, the, the top and the mid rail, we've got them clamped together in another little small jig just to keep it from bending and warping, uh, pulling from the heat. 
So what I'm doing now is we've got the legs. It's easier to grind these when they're by themselves because you can move them around a lot easier. Once you add a you know four or five foot center section in there, then you got to flip the whole thing over. So what I'm doing is just taking a flap wheel. We use 60 grit flap wheels on a Dewalt grinder, um, just a four inch uh, flap wheel. And we'll take that and go over it. And you can use a like a rough wheel and then go back over it with a really uh, brand new wheel and it just polishes it. Uh, really, really good. So you can see there we've got a little mini jig set up. We've got that uh, angle iron there you see we've clamped to. It's actually tacked to the table. We squared up the, the, the front leg. So this is just a two post rail. So that bottom leg with a hoop on it and then you've got the top leg with a hoop on it. And what we're doing is just making our top and our, our bottom rail. This is what I call a two line rail. And you'll see in a minute uh, a three line rail. So once we're done with that, all cleaned up, now what we're gonna do is work on installing. This is a core drill process. Uh, some of these go in the dirt, but uh, we did have some that need to be core drilled. So there you see our Hilti core drill. All right guys, got these installed today. These are the handicap rails and the stair rails we were working on last week. These are the only ones that are core drilled just because this is all new construction. Everything else is going in the dirt just because of uh, dimensions and the cross width on the stairs they wanted everything in the dirt normally we'll core drill everything we can you see how good and clean it looks very professional so these are all done and we've got a few more to do but probably going to get rained out tomorrow so just wanted you to see these unfortunately i forgot my tripod today so didn't get any footage of the install i think i did get one one little shot of core drilling so I'll show you that, but just wanted you to see the finished product. There you go, guys. That wraps up our pipe rails. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, please remember to subscribe, like our videos, comment. If you got any questions, feel free to ask or email at any time. And we'll see you on the next video.